Hello friends, Cartoon Mark is here, back at the drawing board. We're going to draw some caricature hair shapes, how to focus on the hair. And I apologize for the shadows, but we're working on a new art studio and I apologize for the noise. We got some home renovations going on on the second floor. So we got some workers up there. We're busy, busy here in upstate New York. So looking at the hair here, Tom Cruise. Um, take it in pieces, all right? So I'll, I'm going to start with the face shape. Here's the cheekbone. He's definitely got that chiseled jaw, which we're going to exaggerate. He does have a larger chin in this picture. And he's got kind of a thicker neck. And we'll just put the collar in here just for now. All right. Now, the hair shape. Take it in parts. Let's do, I usually do the top and the two sides. So he's got a part here. First, let's frame in. You want to frame in. You want to draw every single hair. So I'm seeing it come down like this. And it comes down to the ear. And then it... Okay, let's put the ear in. You're only seeing the bottom part of that ear. And his lobes are attached. Do you want to... Remember, see if the lobes are out, which a lot of people's are, or if their lobes are attached. That's how you'll gain a better likeness, too, even with the, with the ears. Okay, now for his bangs. All right, and now the other side. And there we go. And he's got some hair in the back showing. So I'd give him that just a little bit. And that would be your caricature head shape. Again, there's a part right here. Some lines there. He's very well put together with his hair, obviously, being an actor. And he's got some parts going here, here, and here. So this is just how to simplify your hair shapes. I think that's a good likeness for the hair shape. And then you could do the eyes. We'll just... We're not going to get into facial features. This is just for hair. So we'll do the features another time. Next. Oh, we got Mel B. This is from the 90s. A photo of her from the 90s. And just simplify it, all right, guys? <clears throat> kind of tough to see. Not the greatest picture, but... Okay, she has a long face. I don't know if she's got a tongue ring in there or not. I don't know what that is. So she's got a long triangle face. So let's frame in that face, that face first. And we're going to leave room for the hair. We might even go right off the page with it. Her mouth is open because she's singing, obviously. And go with your curls. You don't want to make all the curls the same. You want to have variation. I'm going to go right off the page with it. And uh, she's going to have a little outfit on here. We'll just indicate that quick. Just to give us some direction here. And I always do like a little collarbone indentation there. So now look, it, the hair comes right down to the shoulders. So I would come out right here with it for caricature. Exaggeration. Okay, continue on. And then 
continue on here. And then you could do your details. You don't have to go crazy. It depends if you're live, you're not gonna have time to do all these curls. But if you're home illustrating, you can definitely take the time and work these all in. The curls seem to be tight. And you don't want to have too much curl stuff showing. You don't want to take away. You don't want to draw too much attention to the tiny little details. You just want to indicate it if you're doing this live. And I always put some dark shadows in here to make the face pop forward. And this is a quick head shape tutorial. Um, I hope this helps. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.